What a race, what a season for this man. He is now a two-time national champion in this series. Third place today for the Celtic Racing Orient Express rider. Ladies and gentlemen, number one, we call him the Rocket, James I mean, to walk out of here with another podium is just great. Just add another one to the list. We go out with high spirits. We got on the box. We did what we had to do. We won the championship. There's just too many positive things right now that uh, that could bring us down. So. It's been a tough year. We've uh, we struggled a little bit here and there, but we've always come out in the races and, and made it happen. We kept the momentum up and. You know, for a second there, we, everybody started winning and we were kind of just sitting in second a lot. And we finally got our hot streak going and uh, we won eight races this year. I mean, I didn't expect that. I was expecting, I wanted to come out and win. I won two, I wanted to win four and be on the podium the rest. You know, to come back with eight wins is just amazing I mean come on in some of the races with all these guys like you said the super short class is so deep this year that at any given weekend there's five guys that could win the race that could pick up a second during qualifying that you got like, where did you just find that usually you get qualifying and it's like all right well we know the running order not in super sport everybody just finds time what it's such a development that we're just far enough off the pace where you find a little thing, you get a little bit of confidence, and it's straight to the front. When I look at riders and you're working with them, you look at how bad they want it. And, and James really goes to the top of that list. Is, is he does he puts in the work and he he, uh, he wants it real bad. You know the thing about James, I think that impressed me the most is he uh, his ability to just want to take everything and it doesn't matter what it would be that you'd tell him he would just take it in. There was no uh, pre-thought ideas or he just wanted to learn a better way of doing things and he tries everything. And if you can get somebody that's willing to try everything all the time, I think that that's the main thing. You gotta be open-minded to try things. You know, the way me and JP met, it was mid-Ohio in 2009. I was needing a lot of help. I, and I, you know, it's, I got introduced to him, and after that, I just tracked him down. He would come to every school that I did, he would be there. It didn't matter where it was in the country, he would fly there. He had bikes to ride, you know, obviously we'd put him in the hotels with us and things. He was just dedicated. He was dedicated to getting better, and, and hard work paid off. Honestly, without him, I don't think I'd be where I was. You know, he's, he's been such a, an asset to my program. Since he's come on, he's been very, very impressive every weekend. I, I think throughout the year, he's had eight wins, seven podiums. The really impressive thing for a championship is he didn't have any weekend that he didn't finish. I think his worst finish of the year was in eighth place. So really, I, I think if you're to write a book on a championship, uh, he, he really did it by the book all year and it was, it was impressive. Now, of course, the challenge next year is to move to the next level. Hopefully he can do, you know, DSB is a different, different level of talent, different level of, of expectations. But from what I've seen this year, I think James will, will meet those. Next year, I'm gonna come in twice as strong mentally and physically than I was this year. This year I got to a certain point where it was, I, would, I, I brought up my game 100% from last year, and next year I'm gonna get, come even stronger, I'm gonna be more serious, because next year is the time to shine. We do this because we have fun, and the more fun you have, the faster you can go. The more fun you have, the more confidence you can have, the more confidence you have, the faster you can go. So I'm really, really excited about next year, and, and uh, I'm really excited to see what the future holds.